Hey there, welcome back to the channel. Greetings from Lope Bury. I'm staying up here for the next week or so, visiting my fiance's family, and I decided uh, just to make a little video showing around the local town outside the village where I'm staying. This is a little bit further north from Lope Bury, which if you don't know already, is like, it's like a monkey city. This is the tourist attraction why a lot of people come to Lope Bury, which is about two hours north of Bangkok. So we arrived here I think like four days ago took the van from Bangkok up here and um, yeah so in this video I'm just gonna be showing you around the area the market we're here to pick up some food items for the house just stopped in for a morning coffee at this place very good coffee fantastic and what are we here for babe? My mom come and buy some ingredients for the food. <laughs> okay. And to fill the shop. Ah, uh, we need to fill up the shop. Okay. Enjoying that coffee? Mm. Pretty good, right? Yeah, that's the best. Got a lot of different stuff in here. Chicken. Lots of different smells in this market as well. Okay, it's a vegetable aisle. And uh, I'm guessing they don't really have many grocery stores. This looks like Mary's friend here. Hello. Mary knows everyone in the village because she grew up here. And now we're in the main town of the village. It's outside of Lopebury. And uh, I'm gonna go to 7-Eleven real quick. Just across the street. Pretty small, quaint little town, but uh, pretty interesting, and they even have tuk-tuks here. Look at that. Something you don't see on the island very often, but you know, they're everywhere in Bangkok, of course. Careful, careful. And uh, so they got the gold shop here. This is only about 15 minutes from uh, the village. Lots of things for sale around here as well. Not so touristy. This is definitely off the tourist yeah, that's, that's path. I usually come, come there when I was young, like high school. Where, Ben? Over here? Ah. Like a computer thing in there that you can pay. Oh, I see. Interesting. Okay, let's go into 7 Eleven. There's an ATM as well. Maybe I need to use ATM real quick. But yeah, here's the local 7 Eleven in town. Sariga. We just finished up at 7 Eleven. There's not too many of them in the town. There's this one and another one. That's about it. And uh, yeah, they got a little, little shops around here. Still enjoying my uh, coffee from this little shop that we stuffed into, the coffee roaster. And I'm not exactly sure what that says in Thai. But uh, yeah, really good coffee. Cheers. So what's the name of this town? Where are we at now? Lam Na Lai. Long Na Lai? Lam Na Lai. Long Na Lai. I think I'm pronouncing that correctly. Lam Na Lai. Lots of little things around here, knickknacks and such. You can also uh, play the lottery, which is something I still have never tried. But it uh, seems like a waste of money to me. But yeah, just local people enjoying their, their lives. What is this place here? Meat market? Oh, right. Do you want to buy any clothes, Ben? No. People in the village, did they have a store? Like a little shop, they come here and then buy them. Ah, I shop. see. So this is mostly for little villages. So it's more cheap than the, the main market, apparently. And it's quite large, too, as you can see. There's a lot of stuff in here. All sorts of 
ingredients and some interesting smells in here as well not all of them necessarily good but uh, yeah hmm Study cop. Okay, so what did we come in here for? Anything in particular? Just looking for some. You should be my mom. Guy driving his motorbike through the shop. The market, I should say, right here. <laughs> Dropping off uh, food, I guess. Yeah, pretty interesting little market here. It's actually a lot bigger than I expected. Is this lychee, babe? This lychee, right? Uh, no, this long can. Oh, long can. This is a sweet fruit right there. And they got, you know, lots of vegetables as well. All sorts of different things in here for making curry and uh, sweet basil and all the greens, lettuce as well. Pretty interesting. And this is the uh, the local town near the village. So they've got this market and a couple other ones as well. Then they have the more like packaged food here too. Sorry, God. Yeah. Hey, you want to get some chicken? Get some chicken, babe. Hmm. Yeah, look at that. It looks like real fresh chicken. They got the chicken feet as well, which is kind of a delicacy in Thailand. Now she's weighing it. Okay. Quick and easy. How much, Rick? 40 baht? Not bad. Anything else? Oh, what are those? What are these, Rick? Looks pretty good. What are they? Um, they're potato in there. Potatoes? Yeah, it's just like a traditional fry dessert. Okay. Ah. It's sort of like a pancake. It's like a pancake. Okay. Looks pretty good. But just enjoying the moment for now. Cup cup. These are for uh, the the temple. So if you want to make an offering. It's actually Buddha day today, so we just went to the temple earlier to meditate with the monks and make offerings. But uh, yeah. Where is my coffee? Oh, you put it somewhere. Where's your coffee? Oh, it's with the um, Where did you put it? <laughs> the ATM machine. Oh, it's at the ATM? <laughs> Uh-oh. I think it's gonna be still there. It's still gonna be there. Nobody steals anything here. Oh no. We need to uh, go back and get Mary's coffee. It looks like there's also a Cafe Amazon across the street. So, right next to another 7 Eleven. Right there. And yeah, pretty interesting. Like, you know, everybody's just selling food. They've got food trucks set up everywhere. Here's another one. So convenient to uh, to get food in Thailand. No matter what hour of the day, there's always something available, which I love. Okay, let's see if Mary's coffee is still at the ATM. I'm sure it will be. <laughs> Can you go grab it for me? Yeah, you hold this one. Okay. All right. There's her coffee right there on top of the ATM. Ah. Okay. Thank you. 
Crossing the street. Not too much traffic here. Let's go. <laughs> okay. Where to now, babe? Back, back to the truck? Back to my And Mary's always happy with coffee in the morning. It's her favorite way to start the day. Isn't that right? Yes. It's a real good coffee shop too. Locally sourced from Thailand. That's where they get the beans. Chow doi. Or chow doi. Chow doi. Chiang dao. Chiang dao, yeah, that's uh, north of Chiang Mai, right? Chiang dao, Chiang. Uh-huh. Chiang dao. Some of the best coffee in all of Thailand. They have coffee from in Chiang dao. Chiang dao. Where? In Kito Pier. Okay. Now we're back at the main market, I guess you could say. And uh, parked up ahead, so just walking back to the truck now. And yeah, you could just, you know, <laughs> a lot of people just line their motorbike up here and they park in front of the market. Pretty convenient. And uh, they've got these motorbikes with sidecars on them, which is actually what I'm driving around while I'm in the village. It's kind of kind of interesting, for sure. And you know, it's good to get out of your comfort zone every once in a while. So this is definitely out of my comfort zone, but I'm enjoying it so far. Interesting experience, for sure. Lots of little shops throughout here as well, selling all sorts of different stuff. Woman selling lottery tickets on a bike. After this, we're gonna go get some soup, right, babe? Yeah, right. The best soup in the town. Okay, <laughs> let's go get some soup. Best soup in town. Soup with coffee. Yeah. Tough to beat. Oh. <laughs> Now we're stopping to order some coffee in a bag at this little shop right here. <laughs> Such a Thai way of doing it. Look at that. It's like a coffee in a bag. With ah. full of sugar. Okay. Yeah, okay, yes, soup, yes. Ah, best noodles in town right here. This is where we're stopping for lunch. Chulong Thai. Thai. So this is apparently some of the best noodles in town right here where we're stopping. And I've actually eaten here, but it's been over a year now. So yeah, looking forward to it. I'm pretty hungry. This is the soup place in the town and it smells so good here. Just amazing. It's only like 50 baht Per soup, you can see up here the price is 50, 60 baht for the soup. Definitely a lot cheaper than Samui, as you can imagine, obviously. All right, here's my soup. This is pork. Ooh, oh, that looks great. It looks like the one in Panga. Yes, that's fine. Sim, same. Very tender. Look at this. Oh yeah. Sweet basil, right here. Hey, okay, trying the uh, pork soup here. Oh, it's hot. Thanks so much for tuning into this episode. I've been showing you around the small town outside the village where I'm staying in rural Thailand. And we've just now dropped off the food at the house. And I'm going to head over to a coffee shop because I've got a phone call in about an hour. And they have really, really fast Wi-Fi there, like 700 megabits per second. Whereas here at the house, uh, it's quite slow. So yeah, stay tuned for more videos and take care, stay safe. Peace from Thailand.